Anyway, what is up guys? Today we are unboxing another thing that I bought. Um, well, I think the last unboxing video I did was a knife, uh, which was excellent. This is something hunting related again, hence why uh, there's a video being made of it. Um, very excited. It was quite an expensive thing to buy, but I kind of wanted to buy, I've wanted to buy one in a while for a while. And uh, I finally bit the bullet and did it. And it's gonna provide some cool new angles to my videos and stuff like that. So just a hint as to what it might uh, be. Uh, just don't wanna break it. I think I should get a knife perhaps or something to open this. It's very, very well packaged. There we go, that seems to work. Anyway, let me get a show on the... Oh! Let me get a knife. It's gonna look a lot cooler with a knife. The knife we unboxed last time. So as long as you guys can see what I'm doing, kind of see my face up. See what's inside. Um, if you have any ideas what it could possibly be, just don't wanna show it to the camera or something. Pause the video now, comment down below. Probably won't get any comments, but we'll see. Anyway, got a paper saying, uh, yes, 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 what well, I paid for it and what not, keep that. And then, get ready. That was not on note. But uh, yes, it is a trigger cam, guys. So it's something to form. The package is quite dirty. Um, it's the trigger cam 2.1, to be exact. It's something to film through the scope of a gun. Um, yeah, I've wanted to buy one since last year's hunt and stuff. Uh, actually, before that, it just looked cool. I just didn't get around to buying one and uh, I finally got around to buying one and it's, I'm so excited. What a registration basic start. Okay, there's probably a lot of things I should do before I can get this out. Some things, some things and, uh, and there's basic start guide, right? So that's, that's that. Oh, this is a lot bigger than I expected. That's what she said. Oh, there we go. There's the... Um, thingamajiggy, if I can say that. Uh, it fits over your scope through there, I think. I think that's, I'll have to read the guide. It fits over your scope and then it forms through it. And uh, you can get some epic, epic shots. These are the footprint caps that you put inside for the different scope sizes. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'll see how they all work. I'll first have to start reading the guide, but, um, Here's a little close-up, let me swap you guys around. Anyway, there's the trigger camera itself. I'm not too sure this is some sort of button. And it fits over the scope through here, right? That's what I've gathered. Uh, there's the charge cable and a few fitments extra. And uh, we are now gonna start, I'm assuming this is to clean everything, All right? Okay. I'm gonna go start quickly reading the basic guide and see how it is set up. Yeah, yeah. There. Ah! There's a f what we're gonna expect. But yeah, we'll, I, once I get the setup on the crossbow, I'll definitely show you guys what I'm seeing and filming through it, because uh, it's something I can do now. And uh, I'm probably gonna be using it on the hunt for the season already, because I'm gonna take the guns with my dad's 30 6 my 300 and uh, hopefully we shoot something with it on filming. Obviously, I can't shoot anything with it itself. The gun has to shoot. So let's get this going. I'll uh, tell you guys once I've finished reading everything, what I found, and then uh, we'll take it out for a bit of a test. Okay guys, so quick intermission before we go over. I never used it on the scope. Uh, I try to fit it uh, on the crossbow scope. I try to fit it the crossbow scopes too small, which I kind of thought was gonna be the case. Um, I wanted to use it on the hunt with my 300 Win Mag, but, um, the gun I have, the 300 room mag, scope is too low, so I can't open the, I'm filming with my right hand, but I'm sh I shoot right handed. Uh, I can't open the, the uh, chamber without um, bumping the camera, so it doesn't want to open with the camera on, which is no fault of the camera. It's <clears throat> the scope is mounted a bit too low on my gun, and uh, you can see it because the, the, um, the arm, of uh, of the chamber, I don't know what the English words are. My the slot arm in Afrikaans, 
uh, not like scrapes against the bottom of the scope which isn't great and because it was built by my granddad I don't think he shot it quite off that often so no one ever noticed and so I'm only noticing it now which I'll probably need to get fixed um, because it's going to just damage my scope it's going to damage my uh, the, the arm and uh, it's like creating place for us to sit when it's in the in the gun safe so um, things I still need to do anyway I ended up testing it out on someone else's rifle on the hunting trip still so uh, I'm gonna play some footage for that for the outro and then I'll see you guys back here um, when that little clip is done with my honest opinion of what I think about uh, the trigger cam so far so uh, I've not done in-depth testing will probably throughout the hunting season do better testing but this is what I have so far so enjoy these a few clips of it in action <music> guys so there we go you guys have seen it um, honestly I really like the trigger cam it is a bit of an expensive buy but it's really it works well um, from what I found is that the camera quality is really clear from those clips uh, when you go 720 high like higher frame rates to 40 for slow-mo it gets a bit um, grainy but uh, overall I really really like it um, what I what I've kind of found tricky is calibrating it to get the reticle I think the reticle was kind of skew on it for the for the scope but to get everything precisely lined up was kind of a trick um, but not like deal breaker difficult it's just something to get used to and once it's dialed it's dialed so it remains dialed as long as it's on that scope I really like looking at it through the app the fact that you can do everything from your phone app or on the side of the camera is really nice it's really sturdy I like how it fits on the scope and um, overall a good product I really like the product so yeah that's what I personally think about it I'll definitely try to use it some more this season probably not on my rifle um, I'll see if on the one hunt we have it later this season with Marco and them joining if it fits on one of his rifles and then to get some footage like that because I really want to continue using it and uh, as soon as my 300 has been amended where or amended yeah it's not repaired it's amended with the scope a bit higher so um that it would fit as well as not scrape the the chamber arm slot arm as i say in afrikaans um then i'll be able to use it on that as well and i'll be able to get some epic epic footage but yeah thanks again for watching guys this was a short little video i think the next video that's coming up is my first hunting video of the season so stay tuned for that it's going to be a real cracker jack and um yeah we had we had some great fun this last weekend out hunting and uh, i harvested some nice animals and uh, our freeze is now filling up rather nicely so hunting season started it is busy raining outside which is weird um but stay tuned more hunting videos coming soon and uh, on the trigger punch bandits channel as well and uh, yeah thanks for watching i think that's what i want to say leave a like down below if you like the video subscribe Everything really helps out the channel and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Bye!